Oh my God. I think it's very important that uh, people are allowed to be armed. Most globalists would like to see national governments yield up portions of their sovereignty to transnational institutions it would require the disarmament of the citizens of individual countries. Clearly there were criminal elements in the government that were orchestrating the event and allowing it to happen knowing that they could radically re-engineer our society uh, into the oppressive state it's become. Who is trying to disarm we the people when the Bill of Rights guarantees the right to keep and bear arms? The so-called war on terror is really a psychological war against people of the world, certainly including the American people. By eroding the two most important powers we the people have, the power of the purse and the power of the sword, usurpers and rogue politicians are attempting to destroy the land of the free and the home of the brave. Let them try. Moulin La Bay. It always comes down to the right of the people to keep and bear arms. That is the single most significant detriment to those who would create a new world order.